All right, today we're going to be bottling the apple wine. And uh, once you're done, you'll get this right here. This isn't fermented, of course, not fermented, but not carbonated. But I'll go through the process of uh, cleaning your equipment, cleaning your bottles, sanitizing your equipment, sanitizing the bottles, adding the apple wine to the bottling bucket with the uh, priming sugar, and then putting the final concoction in the bottles, capping them, and putting them away for two weeks so they can carbonate. This is probably going to be a two-parter, so, uh, you know, try to keep it not so boring. I cut it up in little sections, so I'm not showing you every bottle that I do, so hopefully you'll like it. Four chisel. All right, today we're going to bottle the apple wine that I made back in May. I was going to do it in January, but I want to do it earlier because it's starting to turn a darker color and I just want to get it bottled. So the stuff you're going to need to bottle, you need a little more stuff. You need the uh, bottling bucket with the spigot right there. You're going to need this racking cane, like auto filler for the bottles. A auto siphon. You could use a regular siphon, but this is easier. I'll show you how it works later. Hydrometer so we can measure the uh, the final gravity of the uh, apple wine. This is a bottle cleaner. Push the bottles down on that. I'll show you how that works later. Of course, your sanitizer and your cleaner. This is a uh, bottle rack. So your bottles can dry, you don't have any extra liquid in your bottles. It's really useful. You need your capper. It caps the caps on top of the bottle. That is if you're not kegging, if you're not using a, if you're not using screw caps, which I have some of those too. And of course, priming sugar. You put two cups of water into this thing and mix that up and boil it. And that's what we'll do first because you want to do that first because you want it to cool down so when you put this priming sugar into this bucket and you add your apple wine which I still have back in the pantry you want that to cool down so you do that first and uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay now we're mixing the priming sugar and the two cups of boiling water And what you want to do, once you get all the sugar in there, is just to mix it up and let it boil for a couple minutes. That way everything gets uh, sanitized. And the reason for the uh, sugar is, is you add it back to the mixture and that gives you your carbonation in your bottles. And if you don't want to carbonate your apple wine, just don't do this step. Alright, next step is going to be cleaning everything. So we'll be using our uh, two tablespoons of this stuff with two gallons of water. And I just put it inside of here. You want to clean your auto siphon cane, racking cane, your bottle filler, your bucket of course, this, this uh, bottle cleaner, and of course all of your beer bottles. And you need 48 bottles. I didn't mention that last time, but however 48 bottles will do. You can't use the bottles with the screw caps. You gotta use the ones that have the actual opened up. Or else the uh, capper won't, won't seal them. So we'll go ahead and add the cleaning mixture there. Clean everything up using our new sponge, of course. All right, now I got two gallons of water here, so I'm going to mix up that mixture. And you want to make sure you get everything nice and cleaned up. Once you clean everything, you're going to want to save this mixture to put inside of here, because you'll be cleaning your bottles before you sanitize them. 
that's the part that's a pain in the ass because you got to go through all 48 bottles, and you'll 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 see what I got to do with each bottle. But it's it's kind of tedious. This thing, you pump it. You see the water coming out of it. See that? That's how that works. You want to get that nice and clean. All right, I'll come back when I got to do the bottles. All right, here comes the tedious part. Is you gotta take each one of these bottles, which I've previously drank what was in here, which is a delicious Racer Five, and uh, wash it out with the same solution we used to wash the bucket and everything with. And once you do that, you gotta put it on the uh, the racking cane. So you just take this thing. You gotta fill it up first. And the next one will go smoother. I usually do three times, just one, two, three, and that's good. And you gotta do that with all 48 bottles. And we'll come back when that's done. All right, that's all done now. So each one of these bottles has three squirts of cleaner in there. Now we're gonna let them dry for uh, well, not too long. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna get them wet again. But it's time to do the sanitizer. So the same thing we did with the, the bottling bucket right now. We'll be doing with the uh, sanitizer. Same procedure, just using sanitizer instead of uh, the cleaner. So once I do that, I'll add this full of uh, sanitizer as well, and do the bottles again. The tedious procedure of sanitizing is pain in the ass, by the way. Now one step you'll need to do <clears throat> in between the sanitizing and cleaning is count out your bottle caps. You need 48 for all 48 bottles, but chances are you're going to take a nice clean sanitized bottle cap as you're bottling and drop it somewhere. If you do that, you can't use it because now it's not sanitized. So what i do is I'd sanitize 51 of them. That way I can drop three and I'm still good to go. If you drop one, you can't use it over again because it's not going to be sanitary. So right now I'm just washing them. Wash them all good. And then rinse them out. And then when you sanitize, put your sanitizing water in here too. Alright, now I got the uh, sanitizer in there, tell by the uh, foamies. And you stick all your stuff in there and do the same thing you did with, uh, with cleaning. You want to save the water so you can put it in there, sanitize your bottles with. And you also want to put it in your cap container too, so you can sanitize your caps. Alright, now everything's sanitized. See, it's nice and foamy. And you got sanitized water and sanitized caps. Now we'll go through the same procedure as, you know, doing that. As I'm not going to go over that again. Well, here's the apple wine in the bottles. The bottles are all sanitized. And this is the Edwards Hybrid Apple Wine. You see there, it was made 2 May 2010. And it's due, well, now. I don't need that anymore. So now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this apple wine 
into this bottling bucket. And we'll use that by sticking this racking cane into the apple wine and having this bucket on the floor. And I'll get back to you when that's all set up.